Hi, this is Retro Kimmer. We're pulling into the Willis Cemetery where Mary Flazara is buried. She's been buried here 40 years. This is kind of a creepy little cemetery. You have to really try hard to find this place. It's way out of town. And my brother tracked it down the other day and it's right here. There's Mary's cemetery stone right there. And there's more of Mary's relatives there. And I think this is, might be her, her brother Robert. Who died young too, just recently. This is Mary Flazar's house where she grew up in Willis, Michigan. As you can kind of see, this house is kind of run down. It has a circle driveway on it, which you can't see too well because this big tree. But maybe I can get around to the other side so you can see better. This big old yellow house is where she grew up. And she's buried in Willis's only cemetery. Well, here I am trespassing again. Now we're on the, the back side, uh, on the far east side of... Uh, Mary Flazar's old house. And you can see uh, it's all kind of run down. This was quite a house at one point. The trees are just gorgeous. Look at these trees. Beautiful colors. It's fall in Michigan, as you can see. And uh, when the police came, the circle driveway used to be more pronounced. Uh, the police pulled up here, and the Flazars came out on that porch right there. They came out and met them, and they told them their daughter had been killed. Well, now we're in Belleville on Denton Road, and this is where Jane Mixer's body was found, just laying across this grave. Um, this is really right up close to the street, and I guess um, you can see there's this little dirt road here, and there's a farmhouse across the street, and then just nothing and then around the corner there is another home and pretty much the people that lived there were taking their kids to school to the school bus and came down this road and they saw uh, that poor girl laying right across James Henry's grave okay now we are on another one of Retro Kimmer's Halloween stops we're on Denton Road Rumor has it a mother and a baby were driving down this lonely road, this used to be a dirt road, and crashed when a truck almost cut them off. And they went down into this creek, and the mother was decapitated, and the baby drowned in the creek. And late at night, you can hear the baby still cry. All right, now we're going to go take a look at the creek and see what it looks like down there. They have a a bridge now that you can walk up over it which they didn't used to have when we were kids but we used to all come out here and we'd look down here there's all kinds of graffiti and kids writing stuff and there's the creek bed down there where the baby was supposed to have drowned this doesn't look very scary now because it's mostly overrun with yuppies. But then they're even more scary. See all the yuppie neighborhoods all around Denton Road now? This is all built up. But still, late at night, you may still hear that baby cry. Well, here's Retro Kimmer still on our spooky Halloween tour of old creepy mansions. This is the Gilbert residence in Ypsilanti, Michigan. It was built in the 1800s by a guy named Gilbert, who was a big railroad baron back in the day. This house is huge. I'm going to show you the back of it, too. And this house was one of the main stops on the Underground Railroad. See, this house is built so long ago 
before the Civil War was over. And a lot of the escaped slaves would all come to Michigan and they'd get on the train and they'd head for Canada. This house is really pretty now. In this, I think it was in the late 60s, they, they turned this house into a boys and girls club. And then they built this brick building down the hill here and that's the real boys and girls club now. This house, pretty spooky looking, but it's all cleaned up and pretty now. This is the rooftop apartment. I want to live up there. Isn't that scary looking? Scary looking. Boy, I want to find out what the apartments cost here. These are very cool. Okay, now we're going to go down the sidewalk. And we'll walk around. And we'll see what the side porch looks like. Now I'm filming from the back side of the house. And look at that round little portico porch sticking out of the side there. It's very cool. Now I'm in the back side of the Casa Loma mansion, which is known as the Hutchins House, where uh, s and Green Stamps, well the H guy, Mr. Hutchins, owned this house. And he brought over a lot of things from Europe. One of the things he brought over was the original gold Tiffany glass. And he did this beautiful sun porch. I just love it. Just one sec, I'll get in front of it. Okay, here's the Tiffany glass room, our sun porch, breakfast nook. If you want to look, at, you can't see too well, but that's all gold glass, and it has bees, like humming, you know, honey bees, bumblebees, that sort of thing. And there's the upstairs. I used to work in this mansion back from like 1998 until. Well, 2001. And this is a Queen Anne that's been all redone. And it has all business offices in it now. And I used to go in this door right down here. And uh, that's where I used to go and, and pick up packages and deliver them for people. This house has some ghosts in it. Sid Hutchins. He still lives in here. This is the entrance right to the basement. And in the basement used to be a swimming pool and then they boarded that all up and used it for dance floor and there was a ballroom with the music pit for the orchestra and this kitchen in this in the dining room was copied from the Kaiser's dining room in Germany it used to be quite beautiful but it needs a lot of work now 